solving percent problems using the basic percent equation. First, translate each statement into an algebraic equation. Then we can just use our algebra to solve them. When you're translating, remember of means multiply, so you can replace the word of with multiplication. Is means equals, so replace the word is with equals signs. Also remember that when you're working inside of a problem, percentages need to be as decimals. Then just use your algebra to solve. So for example, we're going to take this algebraic equation and turn each piece of it into part of our equation. So just work right along with it. So the 12 is, that's going to be equals, what percent? Now if I'm looking for a percent, I use the variable p. Of means times 60. So I'm going to just write this so it's closer together. 12 equals p times 60. By using a p for the percent unknown, I'm telling myself at the end of the equation, I'm going to have to change that into a percent. It's going to come out as a decimal. De uh, percentages always are going to be in decimal form when you're working within your problem. Okay, so now I just have to solve for p. Undo what's been done to the p, so I just divide both sides by 60. p equals... Use your calculator to do 12 divided by 60. You come up with 0.2. So now that's the decimal. This P reminds me that this is a percentage. I'm going to have to change it to a percent. 0.2 is 20%. What is 15.4% of 50? So take each of these pieces of our statement and turn it into part of our equation. So first, the word what, that's our variable. So that's x. Notice I didn't use p for percent because I'm not looking for the percent. Okay, so what is, so is is equals 15.4%. Remember, percents need to be changed to decimals when you're working within the problem. So 15.4% is 0.154 of is times 50. So x equals 0.154 times 50. Now notice here, the x is already by itself. So all I have to do to solve this problem is to do the arithmetic I'm given here. 0.154 times 50. So x is equal to 7.7. Seven. 10 is 30% of what? Again, each of our pieces of this statement are going to get turned into part of our equation. So 10 is, means equals, 30%. Again, make sure when you're working within the problem, you have to use the decimal form of 30%, which is 0.3. Of means times. And what, that's our variable, that's our unknown. 10 is 30% of what? Okay, I'm just going to rewrite this a little closer together. 10 equals 0.3 times x. So now you need to solve for x. Undo what's been done to the x, so divide both sides by 0.3 using a calculator. So I would do 10 divided by 0.3, and I get 33.3 .3 repeating, or 33 and 1 third. So 10 is 30% of 33.3 repeating. What percent of 50 is 35? Again, I'm going to turn each piece of this statement into part of my equation. What percent? So I'm looking for a percent. I'm going to use a P for that. And that reminds me that at the end, I'm going to have to turn that percentage, uh, it's going to be a decimal, I'll have to turn it back into a percentage. So P of, that's times, that's a bad time sign, 50 is, that's an equals, 35. 
So again, I'll write it closer together here. P times 50 equals 35. So I want to undo timesing by 50, so I'll divide both sides by 50. P equals 35 divided by 50 on a calculator is 0.7. Again, the P reminds me that I'm going to have this in a decimal form, so I'm going to change it to percentage. 0.7 is the same as 70%. Remember, when you're working within the problem, all percentages are going to be in decimal form. Same thing over here. All percentages are going to be in decimal form. Here's a website that shows you more examples of this. You can enter in your own numbers, and it shows you how to make them into equations. So that might be helpful if you want more examples of this.